Wildfires rage to burn. Okay. The American West is on fire, and that means it's smoky outside. Smoke. It's been so smoky that this August, Seattle's air was the dirtiest it's ever recorded. And then a few days later, it broke that record. It's been so smoky that the city disappeared when you got a few miles away from it. It's been so smoky you could see it from space. The National Weather Service described the view as an extraordinary river of smoke. That's really smoky. We're seeing literally hundreds of fires up in British Columbia, fires down in California, huge fire down in Southern Oregon. Smoke from these fires has combined to cross the entire country. This is Dan Jaffe. He's an environmental chemist at the University of Washington. His latest research looked at the days when the air quality was at its worst all around the country. Since the 70s, air quality has generally gotten much better, thanks largely to environmental regulations. But in the West, intense wildfire smoke is starting to reverse that progress. Wildfires are, in a way, bringing us back quite a bit to decades ago before we had the laws on the cleaning up our air. In some places, we're seeing the worst air pollution in the country's recorded history. It's not as in-your-face life-threatening as, say, a wildfire burning down your house, but smoke is dangerous and affects millions more. It's full of tiny particles. When they get into people's lungs or blood vessels, they can lead to asthma or heart disease. So what does all this smoke mean for the people who breathe it? My mother lives with us and she has severe asthma and mobility issues and has had a hard time breathing even inside the house. The Nelson fire broke near our house and anxiety shut up quickly. I've had to stop my runs because of the constant ash in the air. The smoke was still so severe that I had to use my N95 mask to be able to go outside. I have mild asthma. The same smoky air can have different effects depending on who you are and where you work and live. Wildfire smoke is usually a spike of really bad air for several days or weeks. Most healthy adults do okay, but for kids or older adults or anyone with a health condition, the smoke can trigger medical emergencies. You can even see that reflected in hospital visits. One recent study tracked hospital admissions in California during the 2015 wildfire season. They found the smokier the day, the more people went to hospitals for heart-related emergencies. People living near the freeway or a factory, often low-income people and people of color, are more likely to develop illnesses like asthma or heart disease from breathing dirty air year-round. This leaves them more vulnerable on a smoky day. People with outdoor jobs, like farming or construction, are also at a greater risk by breathing heavy in smoky air. As the world continues to warm, Western states will likely see more wildfires in the years to come. So how can we prepare for this annual hell on earth? We asked Dr. Joel Kaufman, a public health scientist at the University of Washington. He says if you're a healthy adult, go about your days as normal. Just pay extra attention to how you feel and don't push yourself. But if you're older, younger, or have asthma or heart disease, stay indoors as much as you possibly can. Keep the windows closed or get an air purifier. Sometimes local organizations provide resources to at-risk individuals when the air is smoky. For example, one grassroots sustainability group handed out masks to farm workers during California's wildfires last year. We have thousands of people working in the fields all day, uh, picking strawberries, uh, other crops, um, didn't have the choice to be not exposed. It's day laborers, it's gardeners, it's other people who work outdoors, which really tend to be low income and often immigrant workers. We can also fight the root of the problem. Better forest management and slowing down climate change can prevent the smoke by stopping the fires in the first place. We know climate change is here now. We know it's going to continue to get worse. How worse depends on us, however, what we do now. 